Hi, I'm Michael Whitehouse. This is David Michael Video Blog for Thursday, October 22nd, 2009. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about proper following distance, because a lot of people, um, they don't ask me, because they assume they know, but they don't understand what proper following distance is on the highway. So I thought I'd actually explain it here on the highway, where I can show you a visual representation of it. So the concept is a two-second following rule. So let's see that truck in front of us. When it passes under that bridge, we're going to count the distance. One one-thousand, two one-thousand. Even though the truck seems very, very far away, that is as close as I want to be to that truck. Why? Because it takes me one second from the time I see his brake lights come on to the time I can even touch the brake. That only leaves me one second to stop if he jams in his brakes and comes to a quick stop. If I was closer, if I zoom up to about uh, one second behind him, then if he suddenly jams on his brakes, I won't even have time to hit the brakes before I hit him at 65 miles an hour. So even though he seems far away, he's still pretty close. Ideally, I actually want to be twice this distance at four seconds. That's the only way I can guarantee that I can stop if he stops short, but two seconds is generally sufficient. So a lot of people will say, oh yeah, I'm far enough back. For example, I don't know if you can see it up there, that red car following that truck, the, the big truck, he's at about a quarter of a second. If that truck stops short, he will hit him. Guaranteed. The truck in front of me also is under a second behind the car in front of him. It is only by the grace of God that those cars are not stopping, but if a deer runs out, there's going to be an accident in front of me right now. Hopefully, that has been enlightening to you. I'm Michael Whitehouse, and that'll do.